Let's write the structure for cyclohexanone. So why don't we start off with just drawing hexane, just a straight chained alkane. Hex, that means six. We have six carbons. The cyclo, that means they're going to be joined in a ring. So you could imagine joining this first carbon here with the last carbon. That would give us cyclohexane. That would look like this. So cyclohexane, we'd have carbons here, and each carbon would be bonded to four things. So this carbon here, it's bonded to this carbon, this carbon, and then we would have two hydrogen atoms over here. And that would be the same for each one of these carbons. So that would be cyclohexane. But this ending here, O-N-E, when you see the ending O-N-E, you should be thinking that you have a ketone. So you're going to have a double bonded oxygen, and these will be carbons, the rest of the molecule. So we're going to have a double bond on one of the carbons. Let's do that. So this would be cyclohexanone. We have our cyclo, the ring, hex, that means six. And this O-N-E at the end means we have a double bonded oxygen. Remember that each carbon can only have four bonds. So this carbon here, it has one, two, three, four. So there are no hydrogens on this carbon atom here. The other carbons, they'll have hydrogen atoms. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's our ring with six carbons. Each of these carbons, the whites, those are the hydrogens. So each one of these will have the two hydrogens there. You can see them as we move it around. And then this carbon up here with the oxygen double bonded, that doesn't have any hydrogens. It does look like it's kind of a flat structure, but if we look at it from the side, we do get a little bit of what we call puckering. That means that the, the carbons aren't all in a straight line. And that has to do with ring strain. And then each carbon normally would have a bond angle of 109.5, but that's not possible with the ring here. So it kind of puckers there a little bit into this conformation. Let's go back. So this is the structural formula for cyclohexanone. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.